What are you doing? Why are you here? I'm Richard Holder. This is my channel. I'm supposed to be here, but while you're here, welcome. And while you're here, please make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, go to all those corners, do all that stuff so you get notified when I do all this cool testing because today we have some cool testing. We're talking about LS cylinder heads. We're talking about a lot of different heads. 706, 799, LY6 factory rec port heads, and thrown in for good measure, a set of CNC ported trick flow 225 heads to find out if ported cathedral port heads are any better than the factory rec port head in making power. So here are some questions. Can you make over 500 horsepower with 706 heads? How much better are the higher flowing 799 heads? How much better again are the factory rec port heads? And then if we have a set of cathedral port heads that flow like the rec port heads, which one of those makes more power? Well, you're in luck. All those questions are answered right here, right now. Okay, guys, let's jump right in and find out how all of the factory heads and then an aftermarket head compare on our six liter because I ran all of these on our LY6, the motor that eventually became the six liter Big Bang motor that made over 1500 horsepower. But we started out with a set of 706 heads. So these are the exact same 706 heads and the exact same 799 heads that we compared on the 5.3 liter. If you remember, the 706 heads did a little bit better than the 799s, but quite honestly, you might not even be able to feel that difference. But let's take a look and see how they did on a 6 liter. And to test the heads, we wanted to make not just a stock 6 liter, but something that actually could utilize the airflow. So if there was a difference, we know that the 799 head flows more. So we wanted to like, you know, extract every little bit of airflow out of the heads that we could. So we put together a good combination. This was our 6 liter LY6 short block. It was a high mileage one, but it ran fantastic. We ran it with the 706 heads to start out with. We ran, <coughs> excuse me, a Dorman LS2 intake manifold and a fast 92 millimeter manual throttle body, a set of inch and seven eighths uh, hooker swap headers. We swapped out the VVT cam, obviously, for a Comp 459. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put the specs up here, but you know, it's a 231-ish cam that uh, works well on these six liters. We had stock rockers and hardened push rods and springs and, and injectors and obviously had a Holly HP management system. This thing ran best with 30 degrees of total timing. And oh, there's our cam spec 617, 624 lift, a 231, 239 degree duration split and 114 degree lobe separation angle. And here's what happened run with the, the stock 706 heads, unported stock valve sizes and all that. 513 horsepower and 483 foot pounds of torque. So you got a nice flat kind of, I call them torque plateaus for the LS. And then, uh, you know, on to make pretty good power, which is five, 513 horsepower is pretty good from a set of 706 heads. But what we wanted to find out to begin with is, okay, how do these compare to the bigger <laughs> actual six liter heads, although they use the 243 and 799s later on on the 57 uh, LS6, the 57, and also they ran them on uh, 53s, and they may have even put them on the 48s later on the Gen 4 stuff. But let's take a look at our, this is a set of 799 heads. And, and you can see we're kind of splitting hairs here um, up to 5,000 RPM. The 706 heads, well, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and show you. So up to 5,000 RPM, you can see our 706 heads were a little bit better. 409 versus 421. So 10 or 11 foot-pounds of torque down low. And then the gains that offer, the torque gains offered by the 706 heads diminished as we went up in engine speed. And if we take a look up top here, though, the situation reversed itself. This is where the 799 heads started making more power. And they made a peak of 522 horsepower compared to the 513 or so for the, uh, the 706 heads. So they did make more power from starting at 5,900 on up. So a, a little bit of a section at the very top. They did make more peak power, maybe owing to their, their improvement in head flow. So now let's take a look so you guys can see here. Look, 
<laughs> Again, you can argue which one of these is more beneficial. Do I want the more peak power so that you can brag about that? Or do I want the more uh, average torque down there in the, in the usable part of the range? You guys have to decide. But now let's take a look and see what happened when we added a set of the LY6 rec port, you know, LS LS3 style heads. Okay guys, now that we compared the 706 to the 799 heads, let's take a look and see what we ha what happened when we ran a set of factory cathedral port heads. And there's something important to note here is that all these heads were the way that they came from the factory. I know a lot of guys want to jump on this bandwagon. Oh, you need to equalize the compression all of them. No, we don't. We, we want to run them the way that they were offered by the factory. That's what this test is. The difference between the 706 and the 799 heads was about two and a half or three cc's in chamber size. And everybody points to that as all oh, the difference you need to, all the 799 guys are all, and 243 guys are all up in arms. You need to equalize the compression. No, you don't. That's not what this test is. And also there are a lot of other differences between those heads. There's a difference in not just chamber volume, but chamber design. There's a difference in valve size. There's a difference in port volume. So there's a, there's a lot of differences in this, in these cylinder heads that are not just attributed to a change in static compression. And also, like I said, we're running them the way that they came from the factory. And the same thing goes, we're going to take a look at the test that I ran between the 706 and 799 and then the factory rec port head, which has a much bigger chamber, but it also has much bigger valves and much more flow and bigger port volume. So again, we're looking at all this and figuring out, hey, this is what happens when we go from one cylinder head to the other cylinder head. So let's take a look. This is our 706 head. We're at 513 horsepower, 483 foot-pounds of torque. Here's what happened when we added our LS3 LY6 because they didn't have the lightweight valves in them. But the LY6 rec port heads, factory rec port heads, all of these obviously had valve spring upgrades on them to work with this particular camshaft with our 459 camshaft. But as you can see, and our crossover point here is 4,400 RPM. Below that, the 706 head made quite a bit more torque than the, than the rec port head did. 393 versus 421 down here at 3100 rpm and so the cathedral port head was better all on, on the 706 particularly was better all the way up to 42 or 4300 but then the rec port head the additional flow offered by the rec port head obviously overcame the <laughs> the compression ratio change which is which is more on this one because we're looking at a uh, about eight uh about an eight cc change between the the combustion chambers on these two but equipped with the rec port head this combination produced 541 horsepower so you can see above 4400 rpm but most most but usually but mostly after 5000 rpm the rec port head kind of showed its stuff it flowed more it also had a better intake manifold let's face it i mean it had the ls3 intake manifold and the ls3 intake manifold is really really hard to beat in this rpm range in fact even if you put a fast on it it's not going to gain any power really over the factory ls3 and this is an important point because later on we're going to show you something where we add a, an even different head and we're going to have to talk about it and there's going to be some controversy on the intake manifold that's why i'm bringing this up now but as you can see and if you want to see um we'll get rid of our uh let's let's compare it to the 799 head and i'm not going to have all three of them up there because it's confusing but the same kind of thing uh just to a little lesser extent because the 799 didn't make quite as much torque down low as the 706 but the 799 again is better than the rec port head, the factory 799, better than the factory rec port head, up to 4200 RPM. But then the factory rec port head is is significant significantly better, 522 up to 541, so almost 20 horsepower at the top, and it is down a maximum of 393 versus 409 down there at the bottom. So that's the comparison for our factory rec port head versus both the 706 and 799. But now let's find out what happens when we added a ported head to the mix. Okay, guys, our final comparison on cylinder heads on this 6 liter was to install a set of aftermarket uh, CNC ported TrickFlow 225 heads. You could get the same kind of results from a ported version of the 799 or 243 heads, or honestly, a ported version of the 706 heads as well. As long as they're done, you know, somebody that has a good CNC program, we've used the guys from Total Engine Airflow a lot, 
and, and tested their heads. You can see uh, on the big cylinder head test that I did, the big cathedral port head test. You can take a look at that. We had a set of ported CNC ported factory heads and they do very well compared to the aftermarket stuff. But let's take a look. This is our 706 head. 513 horsepower, 483 foot-pounds of torque. Here's what happened when we added the TrickFlow 225 heads. We got a lot more power. It did lose a little bit down low here, uh, down 3,100, 400 versus 420, so lost 20 foot-pounds of torque. But peak power jumped up from 513 all the way up to 576 horsepower. So big gains from starting at, it started being better at 4,300 RPM and then carried lots of power all the way out on this six liter combination. So the question now is, well, how does that compare to the factory LS3 head? And we're gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the 706 head so you can see we're, take, we're, we're seeing that the um, TrickFlow 225 head basically made more power everywhere than the factory LS3 head. Again, not surprising. I mean, it's a it's a CNC ported aftermarket head compared to a factory head. Before this, we don't run only factory heads, but I want to show what happened when you run a ported head. And the interesting thing is all the rec port guys now are going to go, yeah, but why didn't you run a ported rec port head? <laughs> well, let's take a look at this. One, the, the reason for that, or the answer to that is I didn't have one. I, I could have tested it and I would have had I had a set of, you know, trick flows or airflow research heads or something like that. I could have put them on there to find out how well they did. But the thing is, this combination didn't really need more flow. I mean, the the factory rec port head and the trick flow head, the, the peak flow difference is not very dramatic between those two. That's not why one made more power than the other. The reason that a trick flow uh, 225 cathedral port, CNC cathedral port head made more power than the factory rec port is a lot of things. One, uh, the fact that it has much more average flow. It has a lot more midlift flow than the factory rec port has. It has, it's, it, and not only that, it has a better coefficient of discharge. It has as much or more flow and it's doing it through a smaller valve package. It has a smaller combustion chamber. It has smaller port volume. It's basically just a more efficient head. And, and on the topic of cylinder heads, it's particularly for a six liter like this, I know, guys, you can put a ported rec or a rec port head on here, but that wouldn't, that usually wouldn't be my choice for a six liter combination, something like this that's making less than 600 horsepower. I think I would choose a cathedral port over a rec port, even if both of them were ported. I don't think I would pick the, the ported rec port heads on, on a six liter like this because I think you'll just have much more average power production. The cathedral ports can flow more than enough to support this power. They do it more efficiently. They have smaller combustion chambers. They have smaller valves. Everything about it kind of makes the cathedral port, especially a ported cathedral port, a better choice for a combination like this. <laughs> Go ahead and make your comments, rec port guys, because I do want to hear them. But, Arbiter, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.